Maya. And I'm Darius. And we have to talk about something. It's bullying. When people think of bullying, they think of kids getting shoved into lockers or... And they might make you feel unsafe in places where you should feel protected. And that's not okay. Your school, sports teams, and after-school clubs have to be safe spaces for everyone. There was a time when I didn't feel welcome at school. Some girls that I thought were my friends had decided I wasn't cool enough for them. Everywhere I went, they either laughed at me, made fun of me, or ignored me altogether. I didn't know what to do. Yeah, there was a time when I didn't feel safe at school. No one ever has the right to hurt you or make you feel unsafe. The problem is, bullying is hard to stop. And that's because most people's first reaction to bullying is to ignore it. You may feel like it will go away, but the problem with ignoring it... Is that it won't stop, and it might even get worse. But trust us, because we've been there. If you're being bullied, there's only one way to deal with it. Stop. Walk away and tell an adult. Stop taking the abuse. Get yourself away from the situation. And go talk to an adult you trust. Tell them everything. Parents, teachers, counselors, and coaches' first priority is your safety. Believe me, there are adults that want to help you. Bullies might scare you out of telling, but if you tell an adult, the bullying is more likely to stop. Last year, a friend of ours started feeling unwelcome and unsafe at school. He was being bullied for weeks just for being different and having different interests than some of the other kids at school. Kids who are LGBTQ, or who are of color, or maybe have learning challenges or physical differences, might get bullied the most. We need to work together to decide how safe our school can be. Our differences are our strengths. Never ignore bullying. Never stay silent. You will help yourself and help your bully more by speaking up. <laughs>